Philadelphia Metro train operator was found running a train just hours after drinking alcohol before their shift. That is according to a commission that tracks safety on Wamato's Metro Rail. Yeah, the safety report calling on Metro to do a better job on making sure operators are fit for duty. DC News Now's Tosa Fakile in studio this morning with the latest details on what happened in Tosa and that operator working in this condition, we're told, for over an hour. Yeah, Corey, that's correct. This incident really bizarre. The report says the train operator who was also tired moved a train through six stations without stopping, stopped at other stations in the wrong position, suddenly breaking and other safety instances. And all this kept happening for about two hours before that operator was removed. This incident happened September 2023. What you're looking at is the document during that investigative interview. The train operator said they drank alcohol before their shift and thought they stopped drinking before midnight. That operator shift started at 545 in the morning. That's a six hour gap between when they believe they stopped drinking and when they got to work. The report showing several safety issues, including train operator turning off the lights in the passenger area of the train, not responding to multiple radio contacts from traffic controller, stopping halfway into platforms or beyond the platforms. That report says rail traffic controllers did nothing to remove speed commands, remove power or stop the train reading between the lines here, but essentially for two hours, we had the risk of a collision if, if the operator didn't respond, didn't, didn't stop, uh, you know, continue to, to operate the train erratically as he was. Is that correct? That's correct. The report also calls out Metro for insufficient fitness, insufficient fitness for duty checks of its operators. Now, Metro put out a response following this report. The transit body stressing safety is one of its core values. It says in part, quote, Metro administers a drug and alcohol program in compliance with federal transit administration requirements, which includes random and post accident testing for safety sensitive employees. It goes on to say over the past three years, Metro's positive test results have been below the industry average of one point zero nine percent. Now the report showed because of the investigation Metro Rail developed and is in the process of implementing related corrective action plans. One corrective action plan includes reviewing displays in the control center that can identify when a train is stopped for an extended period. Officials also say the operator of that train is no longer with Metro.